In this video, we're reviewing what makes a table proportional. A table is proportional if the unit rate is the same throughout. So all we need to do is use the unit rate formula, k equals y divided by x, find the unit rate by using each point, and then see if the unit rate's the same. In this first example, example one, you notice that the first point is zero, zero. Zero, zero, you cannot use to find the unit rate. So we're going to look at the second point, 3.57. And I'm going to start by labeling this is x, and then this value is y. So I need to make sure that y is in the numerator and x is in the denominator. And today, I'm going to let you use your calculator. I know it's a miracle. OK, so 0 0.57 divided by 3, we get 0.19, or 19 hundredths. All right, next example. 8, 1.36, that's the next coordinate. This is x, this is y, so make sure that down here, y is the 1.36 and the x is the 8. And then we use our calculator, 1.36 divided by 8, and we get decimal 1.7 or 17 hundredths. Since this says 0.19, this says 0.17, these are not the same unit rate. So this is not proportional. So I'm going to say no, and that means it's not proportional. OK, number two, is this table proportional? So what we're going to do is we're going to fill in y and x. So let's be very careful. The y in this first coordinate is 16, and the x is 3. And then let's use our calculator. 16 divided by 3 is 5.3333333, the threes go on forever. To show that the threes go on forever, just put a line over the three. All right, this is x, this is y. So that means that I need to have y in the numerator, so 32. Look at how long I'm spending on being careful with placing my numbers. x is 6, x is 6. I use my calculator, 32 divided by 6, and I get again 5.3, and it's 5.3333333, it keeps on going. All right, this last one, um, I just wanted to point out, make sure that you realize that in a horizontal table, we have x and then y, and then the equation for unit rate is y over x, so it's exactly opposite. So the 80 should go at the top, and the 15 at the bottom. And when we divide 80 divided by 15, we get 5.3333333333, the threes go on forever. Since the unit rate was the same throughout the whole table, this table is proportional. So that's a yes. All right, I have two more examples for you. Okay, a table's proportional if the unit rate is the same throughout. Okay, so, oops, I accidentally already filled that in. Um, let me grab a pen. And this whole column, those are the x's. This whole column, these are the y's. So we need to make sure that the first y we plug in is 4, and the first x we plug in is 20. And I'm letting you use your calculator today. So 4 divided by 20, we get 0.2 or 0 0.2. All right, the next example, 1.6 divided by 8. 1.6 divided by 8, we get 0.2 again. And then finally, 12 divided by 60, let's see what we get. Uh, 0.2 again. Since the unit rate was the same the whole time, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, Yes, this table is proportional. And finally, example two. All right, in the first example, the y is 100. That goes at the top. The x is 25. And I already know this one. 100 divided by 25 is 4, because 4 25s go into 100. All right, the next example, the y is 76, and the x is 19. 
76 divided by 19, I'm using a calculator, is also 4. All right, let's look at this last one. 12 is the y and x is 3. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. So the unit rate was always 4 throughout the whole table. So this table is also proportional. So I hope, hope this is helping you to remember how to recognize if a table is proportional or not. If it's proportional, the unit rate will be the same throughout. If it is not proportional, one of the unit rates will be different.